So what are you doing uh, music-wise? What's next for you? So I got a couple tracks that I just released, hip-hop, uh, real one, R-E-A-L, number one, not the word. And uh, I got Cinematic Universe and M and J, as if M and M and Jay-Z, Renegade. Mm -hmm. So it's a play on those uh, that song Renegade in the great, in the, in great the record chorus. on the blueprint. My, man, that record kind of changed my life when I was a kid. I remember I was a sophomore playing varsity football and I was riding around with the seniors, you know, going to the games on mm -hmm. Friday night lights. We were playing on Saturday. You're out there like looking for a fight, you know. The other teams were all going to like the Friday night game. And I was in the car and they played Renegade. It just came out. Mm. And they had that shit bumping in the car. We were on our way. I felt like a badass, you know, a young kid, like with the older uh, seniors, you know, going to look for a fight. And I just remember it never got better. Meaning just rap music. The rap music. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I, I, I'm here now. Like it, that, that was it. Yeah. I remember that moment. It never got better. I never had that. another one of those. <laughs> It never got better. I mean, I've had a few of those, but nothing better, man, because right. uh, Renegade was fucking unbelievable. And uh, two guys that influenced me so much. Um, and, and a lot of, you know, the persona, I mean, the yellow hair, right? Eminem and shit and uh, talking shit on the mic and, you know, 8 Mile, the movie. And mm -hmm. and uh, Jay-Z went, gave me, I went to college because of Jay-Z. Listen wow. to his music, open up businesses. Mm-hmm. I, I got I, I put money aside. I had business plans. I, I looked at my circle and said, No, not you. Right. Yeah, you. It's like he was he was giving game the whole time mm -hmm. he was cutting records and I loved that. And I and I love hip hop and I owe a lot to you get the fucking Wu Tang logo on your body. Yeah, man, you know what's cool about that? Man, I'll remember uh so I'm at Rolling Loud. My little brother's shooting it. He's on stage. He's filming Travis Scott. Travis right. Scott's going out, and everybody wants me to stick around for Travis, but they're playing at the same time as Wu-Tang, and I was like, uh, fuck Travis Scott. <laughs> no offense. I'm going to watch Wu-Tang. Yeah, yeah. Not that I don't like Travis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great music, but I like Wu-Tang better. Yeah. Sorry. Fair enough. Yeah. So I fucking, I got everybody mad at me for this, right? And I remember being so pissed off. You know, and like it just had a shitty day at Rolling Loud. I was like, fuck this place. So, uh, you know, it was just like a, a fucking backstage was just a shit show. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Rolling Loud backstage is a fucking shit show. Shit show of a place. Shit show. And I was just like, I'm fucking over this. For all sure. Doing, it's terrible. All I wanted to do was see Wu-Tang and I had yeah. to wait this whole fucking day for this. So now everybody's trying to drag him to Travis. I'm like, nah. So I go see Wu-Tang, and I'm on side stage, and I'm standing there, and I'm watching them fucking like 20 feet away, and I'm rapping along. I'm just loving it. I've never met Wu-Tang. I hear Wu-Tang likes wrestling, but I've always heard that, but I don't know, you know? And in all my years, I've met motherfucking dude, Jerry Seinfeld, gotten to know Dave Chappelle, gotten to know Jeff Ross, some great comedians, Love gotten Jeff to know Ross, some yeah. actors, The Weeknd, and, and, you know, met Drake, and... Like, I met some motherfuckers, right? Bro, nothing was like this. I I was speechless, and it's hard to get me speechless. It's hard to get me at a loss for words, but as they're getting off stage, I'm like, oh, damn, I'd love to meet one of the guys from Wu-Tang, just any one of them. I don't give yeah. a fuck rolls by, Ray Quad or fucking Matt, whatever. Right, right, right. And all of a sudden, Meth looks up and goes, yo, Enzo! And I was like... He came up to me, asked me for a picture, and you could see in the picture on my phone, I have tears in my eyes. I was so like, I made it. That was like my, my I made it moment. Fucking like, method man. It could have been, any, been anybody else. Dog, no, this was like my I made it moment. Right. I was like, dog, Method Man knows who I am. Like fucking Wu-Tang. I have their tattoo here. Like fucking meth knows me. So I was that was cool. But uh, I, I usually never get shook or rattled by anyone. That was that. I think it was just the climax of a fuck you day that just finally came. And it made it all worth it. I you went like, through Thanks. this day for this moment. Yes, and that's what like welled up tears in my eyes. It's like it was all worth being here at this shit show. Yeah, Rolling Loud is a fun day, but it's a long day, and it's uh. Yeah, it was hot out, dude. I was wearing pants. Was it out here? Fuck. Uh, no, here it, was, it was. It was in Queens. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a nightmare. 